Welcome back to the wild. I'm Cypress, and in this video, I'll share my hack for hassle-free, fast fire starting. Soaked logs here. Now, I'm no slouch to flame tending. Well, that glorious night, I actually was not using one of these. Oh no? It was one match. He said we weren't going to get a fire started at all, so I had to start it with one match. And I did. But sometimes expediency matters. These wax and wood briquettes light quickly and put out a robust flame for close to 15 minutes, making it a snap to get even very damp wood burning without hassle. Yeah, these twigs are damp. It's been raining here a lot. It always rains here a lot. And without dumping toxic gasoline everywhere. So let's get started. To make these pellets, you'll need four things. One, something to melt the wax with. Either a double boiler or a crock pot is best, so as not to scald the paraffin. I'm using an old crock pot that I reserve for candle making purposes. Two, you'll need paper cups or silicone molds to shape the pellets. I've saved up my paper egg cartons, and these work perfectly. Alternatively, small paper sample or condiment cups work well too. Three, of course, you'll need wax. A simple block of paraffin available at craft stores will do nicely. Or you can save your spent candle wax and use that. This old, failed, layered candle is perfect because it would be problematic to try to separate the wax colors to reuse them for candle making. But today, I'm melting down hunks of paraffin. Other waxes would work too, but soy wouldn't travel well, and beeswax is way too fancy and high quality to demote it to a simple fuel source. Four. Finally, you'll need a fuel. Some people swear by dryerland, but wood shavings are the most common for these fire starters. You can find clean shavings in any pet store with the small animal bedding. I prefer to score the wood shavings from the floor underneath the table saw, or in this case, the leavings from my brother cutting up firewood. I have some oak here and some pine. Now, I'm curious whether different fuels perform differently. So I'll be running an experiment with different combinations. Do these briquettes work better with no lint? Lint on top? Lint mixed in with the wood? And does pine or oak work better? Or a combination? I'll make samples in this egg crate and then conduct a burn test to see what kind of a difference these fuels might make. So to make these pellets is quick and easy. Really, melting the wax is the part that takes the longest and is the least fun. Uh. Hmm. <sighs> Frick, a watched pot really does not boil. Now, this would go much faster if I'd broken up the wax into small pieces, but I didn't want to bust my kitchen table. So hammering on the wax would be best in the driveway, perhaps. I don't have a clean driveway, so it's just not happening. Now, normally, filling the crate with fuel would be a snap, but I'm being careful to load each cup with a different recipe, so this becomes tedious. Also, mixing the lint in with the wood is cumbersome, and I'm really glad I'm only doing that three times here. It will have to perform amazingly to be worth this effort. Thank you. 
Once the cups are packed with fuel, ladle the wax into the cups. It soaks up a lot more wax than you'd think. One factor to consider with egg cartons. Filling the cups all the way up makes them difficult to separate later, as the paper rims are not of even height. But filling them shallowly results in much smaller pellets. Plan accordingly. I'm opting to just fill them up and use more force to cut the finished pellets apart. The filled egg crate should look something like this. All that's left is to let them cool and separate each cup for individual use. So, which combination of fuels worked the best? Here's my totally scientific setup in my rock driveway. I couldn't light them all in unison, so I'll be timing all of this and using the maths to sort out variations in burn time. Once everything got burning well here, I started worrying whether my camera was too close for safety. You can see that they are all putting off more than enough flame to get a fire started, even for someone inexperienced or for damp wood. And it's clear here that the briquettes are wind resistant. We're about 10 minutes in and you can see that the flames aren't as strong as they were, but they're still really putting it out there. And finally at about 13, close to 14 minutes, we start seeing these flames dying down and sputtering out. However, their ashes are still cooking, and they are continuing to put out a lot of heat. Every one of the cut bottoms remained intact at the end, but I have no doubt they would have incinerated had I let the coals continue to cook. Okay, how did they do? Our longest burning was the oak sample with no lint in it at 15 minutes and 21 seconds. Our shortest lived briquette was the pine with no lint in it at 12 minutes and 25 seconds. Quite a range in burn time, but by and large, I just don't see a consistent pattern. All the pellets pretty much burned at the same rate and the differences we do see could have been due to placement and by the wind and by not all the pellets being the exact same size or density. I'm going to suggest that the type of fuel isn't very important and I don't think the lint is worth dealing with of course it did that. <sighs> unless that's what you have. And I certainly don't think mixing it in is worth the time and effort. So now you have all these pellets and they're super convenient. They're waterproof. They light easily. It's gonna make a liar out of me. They pack well for camping. They're great around the house for outdoor fires. Just be sure if you're lighting a cook fire to let the paraffin all burn completely before you put your food on the fire. And then, have fun. I know Carol and I did. If you haven't met Carol before, she's helped me with several videos to date. We go back a long way. And yes, she's visiting me during quarantine. 
I regret setting a bad example, but we have both been isolating up to now, and some circumstances made it necessary for Carol to come back east. And all the campgrounds are still closed. So there really wasn't any way around it. Sometimes life gets in the way of what we need to be doing. But it did give us a chance to see each other, and that was fun. I'm agreeable. <laughs> Ooh, that was cooking. Technically, you are camping. <laughs> I gotta admit, we had a really fun time. I'm gonna say these fire starters are a success. We got the fire going hot enough to cook with, despite all the wood being heavily rain soaked, as you can see by all the smoke. We were able to finish up our s'mores just before full dark. Ah, oh, I lost my touch. Did it again. <laughs> this was what the entire day of support was for, right? The, the s'mores. Mm. The camera struggled to focus at this point due to the low light. So that's where I'll leave you, wild ones. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> and until then... I'm not doing this on purpose! <laughs> Keep your campfires wild! <laughs>